Thanks for joining me in the second of our uh, virtual coffees, the ones we can't have or the ones that we didn't have in lockdown. In our first one, I suggested that it would be good to work out uh, if we're going to go forward as if there's uh, God or no God, that that uh, matters for how we restart life in 2020 and uh, for how we raise our children. Uh, you might say, uh, look, it's obvious, there's, uh, there's no God. Uh, we can't see him. You know, why hasn't he stopped the virus? And uh, let's come to that in a future coffee. But for now, what about the fact that we can't see God? At the moment, we hear a lot about uh, the science says this or the, the science says that. And we're, we're very grateful for science and for scientists. But some, na- uh, some say uh, that we can only know things that are proved by maths or science. And, you know, you can't do an experiment to prove God. And I'd reply that there, there are things that we know to be true and we don't know those things by maths or science. I mean, I, I can't do an experiment to prove that World War I happened or that my wife loves me, but uh, I know those things to be true. I guess we know things uh, rather like detectives do. We, we accumulate the evidence to see what, what fits best. You know, things like our, our sense of justice or you know, the fine-tuning of, of the universe. Some scientists explain that today by, by talking about the, the multiverse theory, uh, the idea that there are uh, billions of other universes out there and we happen to inhabit the, the one in which we can exist. My take on that is that we, we can't prove that scientifically. We, we can't see that. It's, it's speculation. It requires a degree of faith, if I could use that word cheekily. Uh, Many others direct that faith to starting with God, uh, a personal creator, including actually many scientists. It's not a blind leap of faith, it seems to fit the evidence. You know, things like we we have minds because a mind created us. Um, We care about justice because God uh, hardwired it in. Uh, I don't know what what you make of that. If I could hear you now, you, you might be thinking, well, look, religion's not for me. You know, I've, the God I've heard of is, is mean and, and, and repressive. If so, can I ask, which God have you heard of? And, and what if he's not the one who's really there? Imagine a young lady who's, who's against the idea of love or the institution of marriage, maybe because of past hurts. And then, then she meets a guy, <laughs> the guy, him. And it changes everything. I I have to say that it was like that for me and for Christians with the person of Jesus. Uh, I'm not into an institution. I didn't like what I heard about religion. But but Jesus, I, I couldn't get past him and the evidence for him. He certainly existed in history. Uh, eyewitnesses like uh, like this one in in John's Gospel uh, wrote down what they saw very close to the historical events. They made big claims that Jesus was God and that he backed that up. We can't see God, but but what if he broke into the world so that we could? Not everyone's examined the evidence. Perhaps we could. Next time.